What is going on everybody? I'm Eric Columbia. Welcome to Toyota Sports Night. Syracuse finally getting their first win of conference play this week, avoiding that dreaded 0-5 start in the ACC. But with that said, no time to feel at ease. SU now embarking on a tough three-game roadie, which features Duke and Virginia. But today, it's Wake Forest. Jim Beheim having his guys on a roll Saturday in Winston-Salem. Trevor Cooney, he was hot versus UNC, cold versus BC, but hot again against the Demon Deacons. Draining five threes in the first half, he had 21 of his 25 points in that first half. As for Mike Benege, he would take his game to another level in the second half. Silent G, loud around the rim. Five dunks for Benege in the game. 15 points, eight boards. He also had three steals to go along with that stat line. This one leading to another dunk. And then also getting in on the action in a big way, Tyler Roberson notching his fourth double-double of the year. He had 16 points, 13 boards. The Qs make easy work of Wake 83-55. I mean, we just came out. I was able to get some open ones, hit some open ones, and then I think that just opened up everything for everyone else. I mean, we were able to, to get the ball inside. We were able to attack. We were able to kick. We were able to, to do offensively what we wanted today. You know, it's hard to win in this league, especially on the road at that. So uh, for us to pass our first road test is good. Uh, hopefully that will, uh, you know, keep momentum uh, on our away trips. Duke, SU's opponent on Monday. They lost to Clemson Wednesday, trying to avoid another upset on Saturday. Taking on Notre Dame, second half, ND up one. Grayson Allen, the up and under. 87-86 Blue Devils, but the Irish answer, Bonzi Colson finishing off the pick and roll with the hoop and the harm, the old-fashioned three, puts Notre Dame up two. Four seconds left, Jackson misses a free throw, but the Fighting Irish get the rebound. Zach August is fouled. That seals the deal. Notre Dame wins 95-91. Duke has lost two straight games heading in with their contest with Ash. All right, on the high school hardwood, everybody loves a good throwback. In fact, everybody loves throwbacks no matter what league you're in. Saturday, the Zebra Classic tipping off and some added flash, parochial school league unis. CBA, Lafayette, Fabius Pompey, and Bishop Ludden all wearing them. Brothers rocking the yellow and whites of ACA going up against the Gaelic Knights. Second quarter, Micah Adams-Wood stopping and popping for the three. A tremendous game from him. Ludden up 10 at the half. Here comes Charles Pry. CBA back in it. Foul in his own miss. Then the foul. 26 points from Pry. Brothers tied after that 14-4 run. Knights grabbing the lead again and not looking back. Adams Woods get this. 37 points. Five triples for the senior. He helps hand CBA their first loss of the season. 67-58. Yeah, I get more, yeah, it, I'm more hyped. Like, the atmosphere made me want to play better, and the fans come on, I got to show I can play good. So that's why it just made me want to play hard. And people forget about this term. A lot of the money goes to charity. And uh, thanks to all the, the, the members of Board 38, but it's a tremendous environment to play in. They moved to Allen Gym to make it like a high school game, and obviously uh, I think the people got their money's worth. Co-main event, Lafayette taking on Fabius Pompey, and they're rocking throwback jerseys as well. Falcons taking a seven-point lead to begin the contest. Adrian Velarde driving and putting it home. Leading FP with 16 points. The Lancers respond nine points in a row. Three of them coming from Ryan Agadol. 20 points, that's a game high. He helps the Lancers take this one by 10. 59-49. We are not done from OCC. Henniger facing Nottingham. Bulldogs leading 6-1 to, to begin the contest thanks to Quentin Williams and his three-point range, burying two quick ones, but the Black Knights start tightening up that defense. Draquan Brantley getting the strip, not giving it back and going the other way. It's all part of a 9-2 run with the last three coming courtesy of Ore Gale, sizing up and launching from behind the arc. Henniger gets the 16-point win in Allen Hall. Two-time defending state champs, West Hill, Taking on Skinny Atlas, the Warriors up double digits in the third quarter. Lakers trying to come back. Cameron Jackson, other ideas, the big swat. That leads to a fast break, and Owen Matukas finishing on the other end. Just 30 seconds later, Jackson going to work on offense, putting home the mid-range J. Part of 21 points for the junior. West Hill up by 18. But here comes John Gear beating the buzzer from the corner. The Warriors 
win 85 to 60. Let's go back to the college game. Bill Courtney and the Big Red visiting Columbia. No relation. Second half, Matt Morgan stopping and popping for the tray. Career high, 29 points for the freshman. Nice little ball game there. Later, Morgan pulling the trigger on another three. No good, but David Anora gets the board and the bucket. Big Red up one. The Lions go on a run. Five players in double figures for Columbia. They get the big win over the Big Red. 74 to 70. Out in Bucknell, some Patriot League action. Raiders looking for their second straight win and trying to improve that conference record of 4-2. Late second half, down one. Jordan Schwabshire splashing down from behind the arc. Raiders up two. Later in the half, here's more Schwabshire. His 4-3 of the second half. This one puts the gate up five. Colgate ends the game on a 25-10 run. They get the big road win, 84 to 73. Time for a quick break here on Sports Night. When we come back, we're going to hit the ice. we got plenty of action for you. But first, here's a look at your weather. And welcome back to Toyota Sports Night. The Syracuse Crunch, they have not forgotten the beat down the Penguins put on them in the first round of the AHL playoffs last year. Wilkes-Barre Scranton not only swept Syracuse, they outscored the Crunch 14-3. to That just hurts. Remember that fact. I promise you, it'll get called back. First period, we are scoreless. Syracuse on an extended power play. Adam Ernie and special teams coming through. Tip at home, the Matt Taramina shot is 1-0 Syracuse. Still on that same power play less than a minute later. Time again out front collecting the rebound and squeaking it past Matt Murray. It's 2-0 Crunchers. Syracuse getting another pass Murray in the first. Mike Blunden from Matt Pekka. The Crunch's third goal of the period. Murray only let in three goals in that postseason series just last spring. The Crunch gets some revenge tonight, winning 4-2. Over at the odd, Utica in a barn burner. I guess you can't really call it a barn burner, but it was a classic. They win 1-0 in overtime. Carter Banks, the cake eater, with the game-winning overtime tally. The Comets back in action a week from tonight as they travel to Toronto. All right, college hockey pond. Cornell lost last night on the road at RPI. Hoping to bounce back tonight. Big Red already up 1-0 in the first. Matt Buckles firing at home. His second goal of the game. Cornell up 2-0 after one. But here come the Dutchman looking to rally. Second period, Sebastian Vidmar throws it on net. And it finds the back of it. That makes it just a one-goal game. Here's a quick answer from Cornell, though. Mitch Vanderlang. Rips one into the back of the net. That makes it 3-1. Looks good, right? You would be wrong. Union comes back and we settle for a 3-3 tie. Colgate, they're at the Houston Field House, taking on the Engineers. Second period, RPI on the attack. Tommy Grant gets this one into the back of the net somehow. That just finds the twine. RPI with a 1-0 lead. Later in the period, Colgate finally capitalizing on their second chances. Hunter Racine. Tapping one home. We're tied at one. Guess what? We have another tie as each team knots another one in the third period. Settle for a 2-2 tie. All right, Sports Night poll time before we let you go. This weekend, we're wanting to know how you think SU will fare on this three-game roadie. We already know that they won on Saturday, so at least have one win. So it should either be choices B or C. Go to our website, twcnews.com. We'll get you those results tomorrow night right here on another edition of Sports Night because we air every night, seven nights a week, beginning at 11.15 p.m. One more note before we let you go. The Titans officially take the interim tag off Mike Malarkey, meaning Doug Marone shut out for the second straight offseason in trying to find his second NFL head coaching gig. Remember, he just left the Bills last season and has still not become a head coach. Gotta hurt. All right, that's going to do it for Sports Night. From all of us here at Time Warner Cable News, I'm Eric Columbia saying thanks for watching. We'll do it again tomorrow. See you then.